we've, uh, we've now got status for European City of Sport, so uh, there's no time like the present to get young people involved in, uh, in some kind of activity. Uh, the idea being today is we're going to demonstrate to them how important it is to collect some physiological data and find out just how fit their perhaps football players are or, or whatever athlete it is they're going to work with in the future. And then once you've got some data from the, those tests, you can inform people how fit they are and what to do to get fitter and, and how they can use their skills. Today we've got Dan Dawson coming in. Uh, he's an ex-student of ours. He graduated, I think, four or five years ago. Uh, he's currently working with a school who bring in a group of uh, students that have got an initiative running with Sky Sports. They've got a mentor in the shape of a former England female goalkeeper. And, uh, and what they're going to do is just simply come in and have a play on some of the equipment we've got. I think it's been sort of useful in like putting our ideas like practically and finding out how we can cope in the situations <laughs> ourselves. We're all, always like encouraged to keep ourselves healthy and we're made aware of it a lot more. But now we sort of know the science behind it. When you look at the new figures around child obesity and things like that and activity levels decreasing as a result, particularly things like Xboxes, Playstations, there's a lot of children now who aren't going outside and doing say what we used to do um, in terms of playing, going out, playing football, playing netball, getting involved in sport clubs. Um, even though they're becoming more and more accessible, I think it's really important that we educate children at a young age, possibly even younger than the, the people I've brought with me today, the importance of exercise and being aware of, of what constitutes being physically healthy and, and physically active. I think it's essential that we give these pupils an insight into what university is like and what, the, what lectures would be like, what seminars would be like, um, so they can hopefully, like you say, raise aspirations and, and aim high and go as far as they possibly can. And if we can give them an experience in, in a university environment, it's absolutely essential uh, for their development. And hopefully they can then sort of see a long-term goal to the short-term ambition 